book, German Boy, is about their retreat across Germany to the American sector from the Russian sector at the end of World War II. It is not a pleasant book to read. His mother did everything she could to save the lives of her two children. None of which either child needed to witness. However, they did. This is a book written by her son when he was an older man, retired. He was in the American sector watching the Berlin airlift. He was, his family was never Nazi. They were just German. But as the Russians advanced, they ran. She did everything, anything, anything to preserve the life of her children, to find enough food to eat, to, to lie, to cheat, to steal, to whore the, from food, whatever it took. And then she reached the American sector and she didn't have to do any of that ever again. He recalls for the first time there was enough to eat. They were warm. There was water. They had a place to stay. They were comfortable. And he watched the Berlin airlift, the planes come in. And those Air Force pilots became his heroes. Eventually, they came to America. And he became a United States Air Force pilot. When I met him several years ago, I met him at the Air and Space Museum outside Dulles National Airport near D.C. His books were available, and we got one signed. This one's addressed to my granddaughter. With best wishes. Really, this is not a comfortable book to read. This is not a nice book to read. And I will not be giving it to my granddaughter, who is now 10, anytime soon. But when she's older. But remembering, Human Smoke, The Diary of Anne Frank. Yes, I revile Nazis, but not Germans. There is a difference. And there is no Superman. Never has been. So when I see Nazis parading on the streets of America, no. You are not supreme because your skin is white. After all, I'm sure you had to work very hard to achieve your white skin, didn't you? Of course not. Don't be stupid. It's not an accomplishment.
What you do with your life is important. And the act of war is just controlled insanity. But sometimes you have to say enough. Enough Nazism. Enough fascism. Enough. The Cheka's just as bad as the Nazis. Enough of this. Let freedom reign. And that's the America we want. We don't want theocracy. Oh, we have to save our nation from Sodom and Gomorrah. Which was actually about hospitality. And being kind to strangers, for are you unaware that they might be angels? Of course you didn't remember that part. You just thought, oh, it's about sex, rapid sex. No, it wasn't. No. Hospitality to strangers. Refugees. Immigrants, the welcoming of people to our nation, regardless of where they came from, who they are, and what religion or gender they might be. That's the point. But it's a goddamn shame. This man had to wait 40 50 years before he wrote his stories. Before he wrote where he came from, how, and when. And he wrote expressing his eternal gratitude for his mother. And the strength she showed. And dedication to saving her children. So no, no more, no more to any of it, any of that insanity, no more harming of children, fund help for the children, for the elderly, for the poor, for the downtrodden, for the challenged, help the least among us. For they too are children of God. And they too count for something. So don't give me this deserving poor. Help people just because they need your help. This book is available everywhere in all formats. And I strongly encourage you, especially if you're a Nazi or a theocrat or any one of those authoritarian persons and an evangelical, to read it. Christians warring against other Christians for something as paltry as political power. Really. Ridiculous. Thank you for watching. Please come again.